my fit friends welcome back to wow body now grab a set of dumbbells and a mat and let's get warmed up i hope you're excited for an awesome workout today in 10 seconds we're gonna get ready to go with some half jacks all right so just half jacks right here tap the foot out take the arms overhead I hope you're doing fantastic and I hope you're not too distracted by everything that's going on in my household right now. Everybody's home. <laughs> oh, it's probably about the same thing for you, right? Let's speed it up just a little bit. In seven seconds, we're gonna move on. We have a quick like three to four minute warm up. Okay, we are gonna go twist, twist, reach for your toes. Two twists then kick and reach. There you go, twist, twist, reach, twist, twist, reach. All right, let's double check with your posture. Standing up tall, and as you reach, I want you to keep your spine neutral. I don't want you to hunch over to reach your toe. Even if you can't kick that high, you can just maybe kick as high as you can and reach your arm out as if you're gonna reach, okay? All right, so we are gonna do a little active stretch, dynamic stretch for our hamstrings. Heel down, toes up, whoosh. I call this the whoosh stretch, whoosh. <laughs> there you go. Sit your hips back and you feel that nice stretch in your hamstrings. And then we're working the shoulder here too. Nice, ready? Right into the other side. Same thing, other leg. Oh, my hip just popped a little bit. I don't know if you heard that or not. <sighs> Whoosh, there you go. Keep your belly button in. What do we got? Six more seconds of these. Keep it up, keep it up. Okay, so we're gonna do hamstring curls. So just kick your heels back, get them all the way to your butt. There you go. And let's have a little speed to it. But as you add the speed, don't cinch on the range of motion. I want your heel getting it all the way to your butt here. There you go. So you're working and really warming up the hamstrings. And as you push your hips forward slightly, you're opening up through your hip flexors and your quads. Nice. All right, so we're gonna take it down to an alternating low lunge with a twist. So start in your plank. Bring one foot up, twist and reach. Hold it, really push your hips down, and then alternate sides. So you're actively driving your hips down and forward. And we're not rushing it. Take a couple seconds in each on each side there. Oh, doesn't that feel good? I think so anyway. <laughs> good job, good job. Keeping that belly button in. Your abdominals engaged the whole time. Ah. We have a little extra time on this one so that you don't have to rush. Okay, so we have 30 seconds to go ahead and grab your band. We're gonna do a little glute activation set. It's just three exercises, one time through each exercise. So put your booty band on and you're gonna be on all fours, all right? So when we get going, we're gonna extend one leg out and we're gonna do a kick back with a little pause. So, extend the leg up, pause, and down. Flex your foot, drive your heel towards the ceiling, and we're not rushing it. Pause there at the top. So I want you to be pulling that belly button in to support your lower back. And then the band is trying to click have you close your legs. I want you pressing against the band as if you're trying to get this leg out even wide as it comes up. Do you feel it? You feel it just as much on the side that's Three, stabilizing, two, right? One. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, a little break. And then we're gonna go same thing, other side. Three, two. Ready? One. Take it out. Banded quadruped kickback. Ooh. There you go. Oh, lift and pause. Wake it up those glutes. Yes, ma'am, yes, sir. 
Oh, these bands are no joke. But I love them. They have fast become one of my favorite pieces of equipment for at home and at the gym. Nice work. Extend it up. Three, two, one. Rest. Okay, so we have 15 seconds. We're just gonna do a frog pump. So, soles of your feet together. Knees are gonna be nice and wide. Three, when we get two, going, one. we're just pumps. pumping your glutes up. It's a little pulsing motion. Whew, you can rest your head if you want. And it's about how much you can squeeze those cheeks together, right? Squeeze them, squeeze them, squeeze them, squeeze them. That was really fast. No, keep going, keep going. I set the timer weird. I set it like it was a two-sided exercise, but it's really not. So let's just keep pumping. Oh, nice work. Come on, come on. Keep squeezing those cheeks. You might feel it in your hamstrings too. That's normal, that's okay. Oh, just 15 seconds to rest. Okay, we are gonna do a marching glute bridge. So, you're gonna lift your hips up and as you lift your hips up, you're gonna lift one leg up with it. So, bring it up and then down. Another side up and down. Good, up and down. So. Think about having that leg go wide at the same time. Don't let the band like make you cross towards the midline. Open it up out wide as you lift it up. <sighs> nice. Dominals in. Squeeze the cheeks hard. Yes. I know your glutes are awake now, right? If they weren't before, they definitely are now. Keep going. Keep going. No, just kidding, that was it. <laughs> okay, bring it up and grab your dumbbells. So, we are going to have a little super set here. And you're gonna want a chair, I forgot to tell you this at the beginning, a chair or something to sit back on. All right. I'm gonna have my box here. Put my weights so my stability ball doesn't move on us. So, and then you have your dumbbells ready to go. So for this, I'm gonna have one dumbbell. We're gonna do a single leg chair squat. There you sit down and come up on one leg. All right, it's gonna be challenging, but we can do it. I think I wanna face you so I can face you the whole time. We're gonna do 30 seconds per leg. So stay on one leg and come up. Ooh. Now if this is too difficult, put the weight down and just do your body weight. If that's too difficult, then do a B stance. So instead of having the foot all the way up, make it be your kickstand to where it's out for balance, but you're pushing through on this leg for 80% to 90% of your weight, okay? Okay, switching sides, shoulders back, chest up, abs in, let's go. Sit back, stand up, nice and controlled. Ooh, single leg work is awesome to help work out in balances. And when you're working out at home and don't have really heavy weights, it helps increase the load because you have all of your weight working on one side, right? Ooh, whoops, balance. Good job, keep going. <sighs> okay, so just 15 seconds. We're gonna do a goblet squat at tempo. Three counts down, two count pause at the bottom, come up in one quick powerful count. So, toes turned out slightly, hold the weight right there. We're gonna go down, three, two, one. Pause for two, up quick and strong. Down three, two, one. Pause for two. Up strong. Down slow and controlled. Three, two, one. Pause for two. Up strong. Down three, two, one. Hold for two. Up strong. Good. Down three, two, one. Pause for two. And up. Down three, 
two, one, pause for two, come up, down three, two, one, pause for two, come up, we still got time here, 30 more seconds, go, three, two, one, pause for two, come up, down three, two, one, pause for two, and up, keep going, keep going, three, two, one, nice and slow, controlled, hold, try up strong, down nice and slow, hold, come up strong, down three, two, one, pause for two, now, we're just going to pulse it, just 10 second pulse, 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 keep your shoulders back, chest up, just pulse it, pulse it, pulse it, neutral spine there, oh, how about that? That was no joke, right? We have a full minute to rest and recover before we're gonna do that superset one more time. So, sip your water. Oh, my goodness. Okay, shake it out. We're resting a full minute because during that long set, that long super set, the glycogen in our muscles that we're working got a little bit depleted. So now the muscles are a little bit glycogen depleted, but the oxygen rich blood is also bringing glycogen into the muscles so that we can have the energy we need to have a really good second set. That's why we're resting for a full minute in between. But that full minute's almost up. Ready? Single leg back squats. All right, go down and stand. All right, down, whoo, balance and stand. I gotta look straight ahead. If I look to the side, I'm gonna lose my balance. Down and stand. Good, nice and controlled, sit all the way down and up. Nice and slow and controlled and up. Hooey, come on guys. Okay, five seconds. I'm gonna face you for this one. Here we go. Other leg, down, and up. There you go. Down, and up. We got this. Down, ooh! <laughs> and up. Ooh. Down, and up. Drive strong. Imagine yourself pushing the floor away from you as you come up to stand at you. Press really strong with that foot into the ground to stand. Nice. 15 seconds. Then we're gonna do our tempo goblet squats, okay? Nice deep breath. Grab your weight. Okay. Down three, two, one. Hold for two. Drive up strong. Down three, two, one. Hold for two, and up. Down three, two, one. Hold for two, and up. Down three, two, one. Hold for two, and up. Down three, two, one. Hold, and up. Down three, two, one. Hold, and up. Down nice and slow, keep going. Pause, and up down slow hold and up that little hold is really helping you increase that flexibility and mobility in your hips right we're sitting deep into that stretch hold and up down three two one hold and up almost there come on down three two one hold and up down three two, one, hold, and up, down three, two, one, hold, and up, okay, oh, pulse it, I forgot, we're pulsing for 10 seconds, right into it, oh, keep going, keep going, keep going, now we rest, how could I forget the pulse, <laughs> okay, we're done with that, we're going to move on to the next exercise, which is gonna be a combo exercise. It's gonna be an RDL, or Romanian deadlift. That's a hinging motion to where you push the hips back, the waist stay really close to your legs. You go down, drive up really strong through your glutes and your hamstrings, and up. 
But we're gonna do one with our feet close, then we're gonna step out wide and do one with our feet wide. Okay, 30 more seconds. <sighs> Heart rate coming up, right? And I'm gonna have two dumbbells for this one. So I want you to remember, as you hinge, the hips go back, your spine stays neutral, abs stay in to support your lower back. And when your feet are close together as you do it, the weights might kind of go to the side some, right? So you're gonna do with feet close together, right? And then step wide, and then it goes down. And then feet together, and then they step out wide the other way and go down. There you go. Feet together as you go. Wide, nice. You got this. Keep it going, stand all the way up, squeeze your hamstrings and glutes. Get a full hip extension at the top. Come all the way up. Nice. Down, slow, up, nice and strong. And up, keep going. Down and up. Down, keep your feet close and up, step wide. Abs are in to support this lower back, right? Maybe you're not as flexible as I am. Maybe you're just bending to here and that's fine. You get your best range of motion. Nice. We just have 35 seconds to rest. Then we're gonna do it again. You hear me breathing hard? <laughs> I'm breathing hard. I'm gonna take a quick sip of water. I want you to do the same. All right. Okay. 10 more seconds and we're gonna do it all over again. Five seconds, grab your weights. Chest up, shoulders back, abdominals in, feet close. Hinge, push the hips back. Now come up, step out wide. Hinge the hips back. Drive strong as you come up. Feet together, there you go. And then feet wide. Nice. Beautiful. I want you to think about having that natural curvature in your spine. It's a nice neutral spine as you go down. This is not a squat. Our legs are nice and long. There's a slight bend in the knees, but this is a hip hinge. You drive the hips back. They don't really go down. You just push them back. Nice. 15 more seconds. Keep it up, keep it up. Keep it nice and neutral, spine there. You're looking up the whole time, out in front of you. <sighs> okay, 35 seconds. So, we're gonna do a tick-tock side lunge. I'm just gonna have one weight. So, your leg is gonna go like this. Tick, tock, side lunge. Tick, tock, and into your side lunge, okay? We're gonna just stay all on one side and then we'll go all to the other side. Less than 10 seconds before we're gonna go. Let's have your right leg standing, your left leg doing the tick, tock. Chest back, chest back, abs in. Tick, tock, side lunge. Tick, whew, tock, Side lunge, working your balance. Don't rush it. Tick, tuck, sit your hips back, chest stays up. Tick, tuck, sit deep, push up strong of that foot. Tick, tuck, side lunge. There you go, keep going. Tick, whoop, tuck, <laughs> side lunge. You got it. Side lunge. Tick, tuck. Side lunge, just 15 seconds. Then we're going to the other side. I am breathing hard, okay? Get ready to go in three, two, one. Tick, tuck, side lunge, sit deep, push up strong. Tick, tuck, side lunge, there you go. Tick, tuck, ooh, side lunge, ooh. So this sweep across the body's inner thigh, right? Inner thigh, outer thigh and hips, 
and then your entire lower body there. Tick, tuck, into that lunge. Nice, keep going. Abs are really strong. Keep your chest up and shoulders down and back away from your ears. Even as you sit those hips back into that lunge. 35 seconds to rest. Then we're gonna do it all over again. Sip your water, stay hydrated. Oh my goodness. Okay, shake it out. In about 12 more seconds, we're gonna go. You're gonna be standing on your right leg. Left leg is gonna be doing the ticky tock. All right, I want you focused. Shoulders back, chest up, abdominals in. Let's go. Tick, tack, side lunge. Tick, woo, tack, side lunge. If you have to check your balance, that's okay. Tick, tack, into that lunge. Let's just keep going, just like that, at your pace. You don't have to rush it. I would rather you not rush it. Make sure it's controlled. Connect to the muscles that's working. Inner thigh, outer thigh hips, legs and booty right here. Inner thigh, outer thigh and hips, entire legs and booty right there. There you go. Connect to that muscle group, those muscle groups that are working. Whew, shake it out just for 15 seconds. Then we're going to go to the other side. <laughs> we're almost done with the lower body portion of this workout. Almost done with it. Three, two, chest up. Shoulders back, abs in, let's go. Tick tock, into that side lunge. Inner thigh, outer thigh, legs and booty right there. <laughs> Inner thigh, outer thigh, leg and booty. <sighs> nice, keep going. <sighs> oh, oh, nice. <sighs> you got this. Inner thigh, outer thigh. Leg and booty, almost there. Let's keep going, stay strong. You can do this. Inner thigh, outer thigh, sit into it. Nice work, okay, we only have 30 seconds. We're gonna do our push or chest, shoulders and tricep exercise. We're gonna do a single arm plank and then we're gonna go into a half kneeling overhead press. So for the single arm plank, you can be on your knees if you need to. It's gonna be challenging. We're gonna just hold it 15 seconds per arm. So get into that plank, pick one arm up and hold it. You, I don't want you twisting like this. Keep your hips parallel to the ground. Shoulder tracking right over your wrist. Good job, good job. We're gonna go right to the other side. Here we go. There we go. Same thing, other side. Oh my goodness. I have my mat folded over a couple times because I'm gonna kneel on it and I wanna have extra padding for my knee. So we just have 15 seconds. Ooh, that was loud, sorry. Half kneeling and we're gonna do a single arm overhead press. I'm gonna have a neutral grip because this, my left shoulder here, when I have my palm facing out, it hurts. I'm still kind of nursing it. I think I, I just tweaked it somehow, but when I do neutral grip, it's happier. But if you want to have your palm facing out and do kind of a more traditional overhead press that way, you can do it that way too. <sighs> Drive up strong. Three. <sighs> Drive up strong. We're gonna switch sides. Just have seven seconds to switch sides. Abs in, chest up, push. Yeah, this side is considerably weaker because I'm still nursing it. So I might go a little bit slower, but I'm still trying. You do your best. Exhale as you push overhead, exhale. Nice. Exhale it up, good. Stay up nice and tall, chest up. Shoulders back away from your ears, abdominals in. Drive up strong, get a full extension through the arm there. Yes, keep going, almost there. Two, one. Nice, 
Okay, we have 30 seconds to rest before we're gonna do that all over again. Okay. Same exercises one more time through. I kind of clean that up there. Okay, 12 more seconds and it's the single arm plank. So you can be from your knees if you need to. You can have your hands elevated up on your coffee table. That'll make it a little bit easier if you need to. Ready? Lift one arm. Wider feet is gonna be easier because it's gonna give you a wider base of support, right? To help you be more balanced. If you wanna challenge, bring your feet in closer. Woo, that is a challenge. <laughs> Same thing, other side, right into it. Make sure your shoulder's right over your wrist. Try to keep your hips parallel to the ground. And you're looking out on the floor slightly in front of you, not back at your toes. Okay, ready? Get ready for that half kneeling overhead press. Shoulders back, chest up, abs in. Think of a nice long torso. Energy pulling your head up, right? Good. If you don't have heavier weights, and this feels easy, go faster, get more reps in, okay? Come on, 10 more seconds. You got this. Yes, yes, yes. I lost my balance there for a second. Just seven seconds to switch sides. Again, stand up tall or kneel up tall. <laughs> right? Come on. Good job, good job. Keep your belly button in. Imagine punching your weight up through the ceiling. Drive it straight up strong. You're extending your arm without totally locking out your elbow. Your elbow's a little bit soft, even at the top there. Come on. <laughs> okay, so we're switching to our back exercises. Okay, so we're gonna do plank scapular retractions. So, you're gonna be in your plank and your arms are gonna stay straight. And you're going to bring your shoulder blades together and then push them apart. Shoulder blades together, push them apart. Three, okay, get ready. Two, get into your plank. Plank's arms plank stay straight. Shoulder blades together, push away. Shoulder blades together, push away. This is really good to help you be able to really connect and make a mind muscle connection to your lats. your lats are the ones that are controlling that push away right there push away shoulder blades come together Two, push away one. nice Switch exercises. so we're gonna do a single arm bent over row and we're gonna be up standing support yourself right here all right and I want you to think about the shoulder blade right now it's away you're going to start to wrap that shoulder blade around your spine hold it there you go. So that scapular retraction was to help you make that mind muscle connection. This movement is coming. It originates from those same muscles. I want you to move that shoulder blade. Ready? It's kind of retracted or protracted. Now wrap it around your spine. It's the shoulder blade wrapping around the spine that's moving the weight, not just your bicep. Your, bi your arm bends some because the bicep helps you finish it out a little bit, but that's it. Okay. We're gonna go to the other side. Get ready. So again, move the shoulder blade. Squeeze the shoulder blade around your spine. That's what's initiating the movement. And we have a little pause at the top there. Squeeze. Squeeze. Abs are in, spine is neutral. Squeeze. Squeeze. Wrap the shoulder blade around the spine. Squeeze. Nice work, less than 10 seconds, let's go. Squeeze. Squeeze. Three, two, one. Nice. Okay, 30 seconds. Then we're gonna do those plank scapular retractions again. Remember, arms are staying long, but I'm gonna sip my water. 
I want you to do that too. We're so close to the end of the workout. You're doing great. Hang in there with me. Okay, get into your plank. Of course you can be from your knees or you can have your hands elevated. Plank scapular retractions. Okay, shoulder blades together, push away. Keep your arms long, shoulder blades together, spread them apart. Shoulder blades come together, spread them apart. Shoulder blades come together, spread them apart. There you go. Keep it up. Keep your belly button pulling up and in. Shoulder blades together. Pull them apart. One. Switch exercises. Okay. Bent over row. Connecting to those same muscles that we're just working. Okay. To initiate this row. Abs in. Hinge forward. Single arm supported bent over row. Left. There we go. Pause at the top. Squeeze the contraction, feel it. Ooh, squeeze at the top, hold it. We're pausing at the top there to really make that mind muscle connection. If your biceps are fatigued, you're probably bending more than lifting from the back. I want you to lift from the back, okay? Okay, a little bit of a break, and we're going to the other side. Abs in. Shoulders back, chest up, hinge forward. Here we go. Lift from the back. Lift from the back. There you go, squeeze and hold. Abs are in, spine is neutral. Good job, good job. Squeeze. Squeeze. You got this, come on. Squeeze. Squeeze. Three, two, Squeeze. One. Nice. Okay. So, we are going to get our stretch in. So, have your mat. We're going to do a half kneeling quad opener. So, this foot comes out some. Push it forward, driving the hips down and forward, really opening up through your hip flexors and your quad there. There you go. 30 seconds on one side, then 30 seconds on the other. Double up your mat to cushion your knee some. I, I think I wanna cushion my other knee some a little bit more when we switch. We're gonna switch here in like five seconds. Okay, you have five seconds to switch. Same thing, other side. Push the hip forward. As you push forward, knees landing right over the ankle. If it's going past your toes, bring your foot out a little bit more up there. Drive the hips forward and down. Abs are in still, sitting up nice and tall. Really focusing on opening up that back leg there, the hip flexors, the quads. <sighs> Three, two, one. We're gonna do a seated, cross-legged hip and spine twist. So, bottom leg is bent, cross the top leg over, hug the knee in, try to keep your hips down, support your hand back there, take an inhale, sit up tall, exhale, look over your shoulder as you're hugging the knee in, but keep that hip down on the ground there. <sighs> just keep breathing every time you inhale sit up taller every time you exhale look over your shoulder even more stretch 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 that hip that should feel really good in your hips your glutes and your spine oh doesn't that feel good let's do the other side right into it now it's gonna be very tempting for you to kind of pick up the hip like this don't keep that hip on the floor keep your butt cheek on the floor there <laughs> Sit up tall as you inhale. Exhale, look over and try to hug the knee in without lifting your hip off the floor. Good job, good job. Just keep breathing. Oh. Nice. Good. Okay. So, what I want you to do, have your elbows in. 
palms up. Rotate them out to the side. Keep your elbows in. Now, thumbs down and try to open them up even more. And do you feel your shoulders and your chest open up there? Okay. Thumbs trying to point, rotate so your thumbs go down. Try to open them up while keeping your elbows in close to your side. And you're feeling it open up right here. Oh, and maybe you need a little rest and then you're gonna just go right back into it. <laughs> okay, one of my favorite things to open up my back. Sit in a ball right here, ball yourself up. Flex your feet, grab your toes. See how I'm rounding my back? And then I can increase the stretch by using my toes as leverage. Push your toes down. Oh, and really feel, do you feel that? Open up, especially into your lower back. Keep yourself bowed up. Really round your back. Try to spread your vertebrae apart. Press your toes down to increase the stretch. Keep going, keep going. Just breathe. Oh, lean back against your feet there. Oh, and we are finished. Oh, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you liked the workout. I think lots of us, we need to make sure we're working the weight still. If we have limited equipment at home, we think, oh, resistance training, I'm not gonna get much out of it. But it's really important to try to keep up with your resistance training and not just do tons of cardio, right? We wanna maintain and preserve our lean muscle mass so that our body composition can stay really healthy and so that our metabolism can stay really healthy. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this resistance-based workout. And until we meet again, I want you to always remember, no excuses, no regret, just sweat. Mwah. Bye, everyone.